Hey, this is D Wong Wei videos, and today we just got back from uh, San Francisco. Went fishing out the gate, uh, took the big boat, Judy Ann, and uh, we had some uh, pretty good luck. Uh, we just took the live bait tank, we left the downriggers at home. Uh, we were just kind of playing around with the kids, they love anchovies. Um, I wanted to show the setup that we used today. Um, <clears throat> for the kids, I just got some simple, really simple, ugly sticks right here. Um, just some uh, level wines because you drop it straight down. You're not casting. One of the things though is you want to make sure you teach them to put their thumb on there and kind of slows it down. All right, so um, real light, light uh, rod, uh, really fun for the kids. Really easy for them to reel it up. Um, it's nice uh, for them, and if they uh, accidentally have a huge fish pull it overboard, then I'm still, again, not too upset. Anyways, and this is one of the rods I was using. Um, specific stick rail, just a simple, nice rod as a soft tip. Um, one of the things that I have on the majority of my rods too is uh, a reel with a reel counter. Um, it's nice to look down and see how far of a line you are because sometimes you put your, your weight down there and you don't know if you're at the bottom. Alright, so. Um, Alright, so I want to show the setup here. I did get tangled everywhere. I got up at uh, 3.30 this morning. We left at four, about four. Anyways, um, this is the simple slide slider. Okay, let's do slider. Okay, I got some braid. I'm gonna go heavy on the braid when we go to the ocean. Um, got a nice swivel on there, nice big swivel. And then a leader, a 50 pound test line today. Um, and then when they got, um, for salmon though, we were using uh, 20, 17 to 20 pound fluorocarbon, but this is 50, 50 pound fluorocarbon and just kind of big hook on there. Um, and we have all kinds of different weights. Okay. This, is a, this is a cool weight that my buddy Jeff, he molded. He molded a whole bunch of them. I had all these old weights and I gave it to him and molded them up pretty good for me. These uh, 10 ounces work great. Um, I have a last anchovy here. I wanted to make sure I showed how we hook them. Okay, so one of the things is you're not going to catch any fish if you don't have an anchovy on your hook. And if you don't put it on right, it'll pull right off. So what we do is we take the we take the hook and go right through the hard part of its nose. Okay, there's like this little kind of almost like a bone in its nose. And you, and you put, poke it through there. Okay, you see that? And then, if it was alive, it's kind of difficult. I mean, you got to kind of hold on to it without, you know, yanking all its scales off and keeping it alive. So you kind of hold on to it, make sure you have a firm grip, and then you take that, and you pop it through the nose right there. And you kind of pull on it, because if you pull on it and it pops right out, it's better to do it right now in the boat than have it sit down there for a while while everybody else is catching fish, right? So if you're not catching fish, probably because you don't have um, an anchovy down there. So you want to make sure it pops on nicely. It's called a nose hook. All right, there's all kinds of different hooks I have. I'll show them later. Okay, but I wanted to show how we hook up um, anchovies. You could do the same thing when uh, we're fishing for tuna. Uh, I was always looking, I like looking for the sardines. There's, there's anchovies and sardines in the mix. A lot of times you want a party boat. So um, sometimes I like to look for the, um, the uh, sardines because they just seem um, a little more livelier and, and they were stronger and a uh, little bit longer. Anyways, uh, live bait fishing, live bait fishing with anchovies. It's a lot of fun if you haven't tried it. Um, and you have a decent sized boat. I mean, it doesn't have to be an ocean boat. You can do it in the bay. There's so many people in the bay. In fact, they did so much better on halibut today in the bay than they did in the ocean. But we like cruising down to Stinson Beach. Um, it's a lot of fun for the boys. We did some rock cod fishing. Uh, we caught our first ever thresher shark, which was awesome, because last time I went down there and I only had 25 pound test line, this time I busted up to 50. Okay, so and that worked. Anyways, live bait fishing, one of the best, most fun fishing uh, you can do if you're gonna you know, have kids or just you wanna go fishing. So if you're interested, head down to uh, Emeryville, take a potluck trip out. Um, but it's a, it's a, fun time, right? We ended up with some lean cod, we ended up with one halibut, 
um, a bunch of raw cod and a big thresher shark that we're really excited to try eating. Uh, I've heard it's great fare, so um, we bled it. Uh, I'm gonna research now on how to cook it and give it a shot. Maybe I'll make a video out of it. All right, so uh, signing off. This is D Wang Wei Videos, out.